हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डी के गौतम एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन टू वन सो इन दिस सेशन दिस स्ट्रिंग का स्ट्रिंग प्रोग्राम सो सपोज इफ यूजर एंटर दिस स्ट्रिंग इन दिस सिस्टम सम डिजिट और डिजिट आर पेयर सो इन दिस सिस्टम 57 एंड 25 इज अ डिजिट नंबर सो व्हाट ही वांट ही वांट द आउटपुट the addition of this two date two number okay so 57 and 25 we want the output output is nothing but sir so how to write the logic for this program before going to start the program i if you till now did not subscribe my youtube channel sir please subscribe my youtube channel and you want here you will get all the most important interview questions latest interview questions see interview questions and java interview program java tutorial for beginners and java interview point interview questions packing programs c sharp interview questions sql server asp.net and c sharp so here you will get all the latest interview questions so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel interview point so now let's start it, the program i'm going to open my notepad here i have typed program so here class still dejection okay my class name is still dejection so i have created this main method here and string is nothing but you can also give it is dynamic so no problem and string i have created one more variable here none so it is now empty in the sum variable for addition purpose okay so you want to find out the sum Of this fifty seven or twenty five doesn't matter. You can have any other numbers here. Okay, but it is the example. So I am going to show you the logic for this program. So first, we have to use for loop. So in this for loop, the program is I want to find out the digit sum. Okay, this digit sum. Okay, so now can I write the code? So now start it. First, I is equal to zero to I less than S K R is not enough. This is to for and I plus. Okay, after that, what I want to do here in this loop. I want to add condition. So if character dot each digit is digit, then a string means str dot char a. A is nothing but i. Okay. Be carefully, guys. The most important program, but most of the candidates are not able to do this. So, some of my students gives me this program. So, now num is equal to what I want to do here. I want to add this value. If this loop, if we will find out this number, so it will add in this num variable. Okay. So num is equal to num plus str dot um, care at okay care at is nothing but i okay so after that what I want to do here in the else condition else condition I want to write If num dot equal equals empty, okay, then sum is equal to Sum plus 
इंटीजर इंटीजर डॉट पार्स एंड इंट नंबर आई वांट टू पास द नंबर ओके बिकॉज हियर यू कैन सी हियर दिस नंबर इज स्टेट ओके सो आफ्टर दैट आई वांट टू एंट्री दिस नंबर हियर सो फॉर दैट पर्पस नाउ इट्स कॉल टू एन ओके इन द एंड ऑफ दिस लूप आई वांट टू प्रिंट दिस नंबर सम ओके सो फॉर अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक of this program so now understand the logic so if it will start from 0 to string of length okay zero is nothing but hash value and length it is about string length 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 string length is 17 so it will execute till this condition is true so suppose if if we it will reach at five position that means the five index string is digit so it will find five okay so after that what it will do num is equal to num plus string of caret i so this caret i is nothing but the position of this index index position okay so in the five position it will find out five so that what it will do it will add in this string variable num variable okay add as a character so, okay so it is the string so after that it will execute till then it will find the character if not found then what it will do at in the else part it will you can see here in the else part so in the else part if num is not equal to First, this empty. That means here we have a num or more more numbers. Okay, more characters. So it will the condition is true. So if the condition is true, then it will come here and sum. Sum is nothing but integer type and variable. So it will add because it is passing. Why it is pass? Because here you can see here it it is the string variable. Okay, so we need to pass in the integer. That's why I am using integer dot parsing. Okay, so it will parse and after that, adding this number in some variable. After that, it will empty this num variable. So it will execute and give you the output to the user. So now I am going to save this program. So my class name is string digit sum. So first, suppose my class name is and all the num okay digits my class name digits sum so digit sum dot java so here i have folder ip in e drive so i am going to save save this program and run so cd i want to change the color so you can see clearly Okay, now CD. Indra, Indra, I have color IP. So IP, I want to compile this program. Digit, digit sum dot Java. Now you can see my program is compiled successfully. So after that, run this program. Eighty two. You will get the output eighty two. so like that we can back our logic for this pattern this string program okay guys so thank you for watching this videos for more videos please subscribe my youtube channel and in case if you have any doubt let me know through your comment and you can meet us on my facebook page my facebook page is www.facebook.com/interviewband and in case if you need the code of this program you can visit my blog my blog is www.bkintelman.blogspot.in okay. thank you guys and all the best keep learning and stay connected